My mom's younger brother, or my uncle, is one of my biggest role models. He was the first in his family to attend and finish college, and he received his bachelor's degree in, with a major in political science and a minor in Chicano studies. He just recently moved back into his parents' house, still in debt, paying off his student loans 15 years later. Now I know this is only one person, but this situation has opened up my eyes and showed me that even with a degree and a graduation from the University of California, Riverside, you're still not, you're still not guaranteed a well-paying job or a decent life. I stand here today to tell you all how much I think college is very much worth it, but how the price is not. So what exactly goes into the cost of college? Well, first, there's tuition. Then there are fees, which are charges for specific services, such as internet access. And lastly, there are all the other expenses associated with going to college, such as housing, meals, books, and school supplies. Of course, financial aid might help cover some costs, but it's not nearly enough. Many recent grads are underemployed, working in jobs that don't require degrees. According to CNN Money, quote, the underemployment rate has been on the rise since 2003 and now stands at 46%. This doesn't mean college isn't worth it, unquote. The value of a bachelor's degree is $275,000 on average. That's near its all-time peak and it takes about 10 years to recoup the cost of a bachelor's degree. But if you take longer than four years to graduate, it will cost you. Staying one extra year will lower your lifetime earnings by $85,000. Taking two additional years will subtract $1,174,000 in earnings, seen in researchers said. A post I found um, that really sparked my interest, especially being a senior and eventually going to college in the future. Um, states, quote, it's late August and thousands of teenagers are moving out of home to begin their college careers. While, the, while these freshmen are undoubtedly excited about starting this new adventure, as time passes, many of them might wonder whether the benefits of their college education will be worth the cost to obtain that education. Their parents were footing a bill that may exceed a quarter of a million dollars by the time the child earns the prized college degree may also wonder whether those funds could have been better invested elsewhere. This kind of thinking may be particularly true for students who will borrow tens of thousands of dollars to pay for their bachelor's degree, and yet may find themselves four years later working at a Starbucks or working for a car or driving a car for Uber, unquote. Mm -hmm. According to college data, the average yearly budget to attend an in-state public university is $22,261. The average at a private college is $43,289. CNN reports that the average college student in the class of 2013 faces $35,200 in debt. $35,200 in debt. America is the land of dreams and opportunity. Anyone who is passionate enough to want a college education should be afforded the opportunity to at least try. It would be just great if we could make a college education free just like we do a high school education, or at least make it more affordable. Now I understand college has its many benefits, and these next few reasons are why I believe college is worth the education. Young adults learn interpersonal skills in college. They have the opportunity to interact with other students and faculty, and to join student organizations and clubs, and to take part in discussions and debates. College exposes students to diverse people and ideas. Earnings, earning a college degree is a major life achievement. College graduation can represent an attainment of the American dream. Many people move to America in hopes that they too can attend school and college and succeed. But with high-priced, unaffordable education, when do they get their chance? College helps you grow intellectually and helps you mature as a person. College graduates are more productive as members of society, meaning lower crime, better health, and better citizenship for more educated people. Wouldn't we be doing, wouldn't we be doing ourselves a favor by giving more people this opportunity which could result in a better, safer, and more well-educated country. Due to college expenses, a good friend of mine, who maintained an excellent academic standing while also involved in sports in high school, had to unfortunately deny universities because he couldn't afford it. With his single-parent household depending on him for day-to-day -day income, he had to postpone college and find a job to save up money. Even after he makes enough to attend and graduate college, he might still be in debt after. In conclusion, college is very much worth it. It's worth the experience, the memories, the character, and self-development. The college is definitely not worth the outrageous price.